Bem-vindos, Colonize! Sou o Melo. E sou o Monarca. E hoje estaremos preparando Bloody Roots e Couté a Raiz. Como hicimos a calzinar. What he said? What the fuck are you doing? Uh, learning Portuguese. Uh, are we recording it? We, we've been recording. Oh, well, <laughs> welcome then, Skulls and Knives. Today I will be making Bloody Roots. So these are the ingredients I will be using today. We've got chickpeas, not to be confused with chick's pea, that's gross. Olive oil, we got tahini, which is ground sesame. Just ground sesame. One lemon, beets. We got garlic, salt, and baby potatoes, but this one has uh, three different colors. Let's begin. <laughs> oh, muy gostoso. Oh, que buce. Just learning Portuguese. Guys, I have now sliced the beets and the potatoes your beet make sure you want to peel it cut it however sizes you want just however smaller sizes because we're just going to roast this and then your potatoes cut them up like a little chip size and we're going to go ahead we're going to drizzle olive oil into all these things a little, little, little lighter drizzle i want a little heavy there okay here we go even lighter drizzle than that, all right? We got the garlic salt. This is just for the fries. Do not season your beets. Do not season your beets. I preheated the oven to 350 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and place these. I'm going to place them for about 15 minutes. Do check on the potatoes halfway around. If you see they're getting a nice little golden color at uh, like 7 minutes, flip them until they're all nice and crispy. All right, probably a whole 15 minutes for the beets. Let's go in. Costos. Here are the potatoes and the beets. The beets are pretty much done. So this is how you want the potatoes to look. Uh, it took me longer than 15 minutes. Possibly around 20 minutes. It depends on your oven too. You know, uh, always check them though. See how some of these turn a little, little darker. So here's another darker one, but this is exactly how you want them. Really crunchy. Very good. Let's go over the blender. Let's make some hummus. We're gonna make our bloody root step. I ended up rolling how Melo showed you. Roll your lemon, roll your limes, make them softer. We're gonna juice it. Juice comes out so much faster. If you don't know what these noises are right now, you're doing it wrong. Very nice, you don't even need nothing else to squeeze it with. Do have a citrus squeezer, but for what? What's the fun of that? There we go. Oh, gustoso. Okay. Man, yeah, Portuguese is so much fun. Here we go. Uh, minus the seeds. All right. I'm going to use a little stirring real quick. For when the time comes. So, if you remember in episode number two, we had the good old white blender. Well, thanks for you guys liking, commenting, Subscribing and sharing amongst your friends. We got this bad boy now. Thank you. Keep doing so so we can afford nicer and better equipment. So I'm gonna start this off with one cup of chickpeas. So this chickpeas, you might be wondering, do I get canned? Monarch, what do I do? Listen, you could get canned or you could get the ones that are dry, rehydrate them so you put water. Cover them in a bowl or whatever, how many, um, however much you want to use, right? You cover them with water, leave it overnight in the fridge, and then cook them the next day. Boil them for a good, um, 
I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, maybe more. You want to check for the consistency, right? So you want, okay, <laughs> runaway bean, just to have enough bite and be soft at the same time, okay? So let's add one cup, let's do two cups. We're gonna do two cups, chickpea, chickpeas. We're gonna add our lemon juice. The whole lemon's worth. You want more? If you're gonna use more chickpeas. This is gonna be for me and Mello for the day, so. You wanna get your tahini. I'm gonna do half a cup. So we did two cups. We got half a cup of tahini. Nice. Nice and thick, you get it in there. We're gonna do our garlic salt. And where's my olive oil? Here's the olive oil. Garlic salt. Tahini is very thick. Don't, don't, don't worry about getting it all in there. Okay? We're gonna start off by, uh, I'm gonna add one teaspoon. So this varies, this varies on flavor. If you do get canned chickpeas, remember that they also have sodium. So careful with how much you wanna use. So before I start blending, this is gonna be a very loud. I'm gonna go ahead and put olive oil in a different glass. I'm put the one with the lime. I'm gonna do about half a cup of olive oil. This also uh, varies on how you seem fit. You can add more if you want your hummus thicker. I mean less if you want your hummus thicker. If you want it you know, a little looser. Use more olive oil, use more lime juice. But always I'm gonna say taste it to as you're liking. Alright? So you gotta blend it. So you guys do YouTube and catering amongst other things. How do you get the energy? I get some energy from doing some cocaine. No, race is all we do. That's who. Race is literally all we do. Because bulls are for fools, race is cool, zero sugar, zero calories, all energy. Yeah, fucking race! You, when the hell did you change shirts? I'm too fast, I got race! <laughs> Today we'll be making a rise. So a rise is a variation of one of Brazil's most popular drinks known as capirinha. So capirinha is, is commonly made, well, it is always made with cachaça. So the first thing we wanna get is lime. We're gonna push in, help the, with the juices. I'm gonna cut the sides. Then cut right through the middle. On the skin, you know, want to remove the skin as much as possible. You don't need to remove all of it, just as much as you possibly can. The skin of the lemon or the lime contains most of the acidic content within the vegetable uh, fruit. I'm sorry, what the fuck I got vegetable from? So the more you take off, the better that is acidic comes. You can always cut in wedges, which for some people might seem easier. However, this is a neat little trick that I'm showing you to make it a little easier. So once you've done that, 
Get nice little cuts, deep cuts. Kind of like if you're making sushi, if you ever made sushi, otherwise just cuts not all the way through. So you can have like a little warm shaped effect. You also have a passion fruit. You're gonna cut that. You get your glass. Drop the lime in, always drop the lime first. And you're getting, where they put? Two tablespoons of sugar. You put that right on top. You muddle fuddle. You're gonna muddle in and twist as you go. The idea is to mix the sugar with the lime. You got that going on. Our ingredient that we're gonna be doing this with is blackberries. Put a few, five should be enough. Mix that in as well. And that, my friends, are sex noises. That's how good it is. Last but not least, you're going to be getting some ice cubes. And to top it off, your passion fruit. Cut it in half, grab any spoon, drop that in there. get that good seal you don't want to shake this for 10 seconds straight make sure it's well mixed the point is to mix your acidic content with your sugar and sweetened content which comes from the sugar and the passion fruit and cachaza you're getting two ounces of this Now, despite the ass backwards system that you see here, it's all to get a full mixture of every flavor. And we're getting a nice little whiskey cup. Ice ball. There you have it. Arise. A cooked day arise. This is a creeper, sweet. You probably have three of these and you won't realize it. And all of a sudden you're flashing your tits to the world. Enjoy. Go away, let me get a crispy one. Cheers. Cheers, we got our root vegetable onto the bloody dip, bloody roots. So crunchy. Mm. Oh. Oh, muy gustoso. What? I thought the video said gustosa bus. Today here in Meadowville, Rock, Kansas, we have a gentleman who has been a victim of burglary tonight. Sir, can you explain a little bit of what happened tonight? Yeah, 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 of course. See, two men, two young men, horrible, horrible men, came into my house and they decided, let's burglarize the place. And they went ahead, they took my blender, right? They took my camera, they took my microphone, and then 
if that wasn't enough, they sit me down and they go ahead and they tell me that I have a dirty kitchen. Who goes into another person's house and judges the kitchen? And then my food is trash. Who does that? This, let me tell you, this kind of crime cannot happen anymore in America. Okay, I say make, 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 make this, this country good again, you know? You got the trash? There's no trash. Just ask. Right now. Right now.